There's a brand new AI model called Quen 2.5 Coder. It's made by Alibaba, the large Chinese company. And it really should be in your radar because if you like Claude Sonnet 3.5 and the way that it codes, but you hate the fact that it runs out of messages quickly or you don't want to pay for yet another language model when everyone raves on about it, well, this is open source, meaning it technically is free if you download onto your system. However, you need about 20 gigabytes of RAM and more things which I don't have on my system. So if you try this in hugging face, and you go to this URL, Quen 2.5 Coder Artifacts, I'll leave the link somewhere. You can use this thing for free to code really simple web apps that'll help your SEO. But the reason why you want to know that these tools exist, these open source tools, is because they're getting better and better and they're really competing against the large flagship language models. So let's try a quick application here. We'll just use the one that's here, a quick to-do app that allows you to delete and add tasks that you wanna do. I'm gonna click send. And it's a little bit like Claude Artifacts in the way that it'll show you the direct representation of what this simple web app looks like on the left-hand side. So if you don't like Claude because of the message capacity, the little message capacity, you can use this. Let's see if this kind of works. So I've got my web app here. I'm gonna add a task and there you go. I've added the task and I can delete it. Let's try a little bit something else. So let's say to add onto this a Pomodoro timer, which is a 25 minute timer to keep you nice and organized. And I can just hit send on the same kind of chat and it'll know that I'm talking about the very same application that we just built. I want you to add this functionality to it. Now, keep in mind here, I'm adding very easy and simple functionalities that can be simple HTML. I'm not asking you to import other components, other libraries, so bear that in mind. But essentially, you could also integrate this large language model, although it's not actually too large compared to the other ones. It's only 32 billion parameters. That sounds massive, but com for comparison, I think GPT-40 is allegedly around a trillion. So, you know, very, very much a lot lighter and just as good. So the Pomodoro timer now works. Yep, I click start, beautiful, I can stop and reset. And I can even tell it that I don't like the way the buttons are working. So let's just see if you can fix that. Just add more space between the buttons and the timer and see if that works here. Again, this was generated by Alibaba, the large Chinese company, and they've made it so efficient and so good that it's really kind of a new paradigm within the AI system. Well, not new par AI paradigm, but one that is consistent that if you like a model and the way that it works, but you don't want to pay for it, there's a very large possibility that there's an open source version version out there. And again, open source doesn't necessarily mean free, but what it does mean that it's, it is a lot more accessible in terms of cost and everything else for you. And if you do have the hardware to be able to install this, then it technically is free. Again, see, with a simple prompt, it understood what I wanted exactly. Let's start again. And our timer is working. I'm going to stop and I can add a new to-do list. So again, if you like Claude Artifacts and the way that that works, you can try a completely free version by going to this URL up here. I'll leave it in the links. And yeah, if you like more content like this, make sure to give me a follow and a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.